Come and take some of this. Come take it here. Come on, girl. I should do it. Oh, don't do that. <laughs> Still off her feet, eh? She's in mourning, boy. You know, they feel lost just as deeply as we do. She's too young to be an orphan. That's not fair. Well, we'll try and find her family. I've seen it done. Really? But you promise we can try? I promise. Come on, Togo. Come on, girl. Come on, Jared. Over this way. I'd take the lens covers off, Mr. Bennett. Oh, yes. Oh, brand new, you see. 40 mil. <clears throat> He's hungry. So am I. And I like bacon. Come on, Judge. You're a very mean man. Good morning, Sarah. Duplessis, the guests are waiting. Duplessis, you've got fun. What's up? Our beloved business partner has gone walkabout. Right. Duplessis gone AWOL. Oh, well, you'll have to drive then. I've got a full surgery. I can take the guess. On your own, I don't think so, Rosie. Oh, I can do it, please, Dad. I want to do it. Excuse me, is this itinerary purely notional? Because we are ten minutes behind schedule. <sighs> Over to you, kiddo. All aboard! You're on, female is. ranger. I've never seen that before. Oh, yes, we'll let her vote and everything. Well, is she any good? That's the question. She is the best. Go. Danny, we've talked about this. I've got animals and guests coming out of me as all the rooms are full for once. Look, my dad's had a fall. Well, a little tumble, he called it. If it wasn't serious, he wouldn't have said anything. Yeah, I know. Everything will run like clockwork, I promise Maybe you. Maybe we can build him his own style. Um, excuse me, Sarah, but we can't find Evan. What the hell's your game, Duplessis? Uh, you. Why are we keeping her company? And I've told you before, Evan, you losing sleep isn't going to help her get better. But she was lonely. <laughs> she really needs a new family. Duplessis said so. Oh, did he now? Yes, he did. Oh, she's shivering. Well, I'll get her some windbreaks out here. That might help. Windbreaks? I've had an idea about the elephant. Yeah, well, not now, Evan. Your mum's going back to England tomorrow and you should spend some time with her. Go. And you should learn to relax. And you need to do your share of the work. I do more than my share. And stop filling his head with nonsense about lonely elephants. You know that her only chance is to get accepted into her herd. Yeah, and chances are a bull snap her neck like a twig and you know it. That poor beast is dying of a broken heart. For crying out loud, enough of this romantic twaddle. There's nothing wrong with her heart, all the tests were negative. Tests? Tests? What good are bloody tests? Oh, well, to think I spent seven years studying when I could have just asked some old Africana bloke. Not so much of that old, eh? You know, when I was in the army, I saw oh, so many... Oh, please, not the army stories. I've only got 30 years of me allotted span left. Yeah, well, I haven't got time either. I've got a game drive to all You've missed the game drive. I am the bloody game drive. Rosie took them out. You sent a little girl out to do a man's job. She'll be fine. Oh, well, I hope we got insurance for dead guests. Oh, I'll be back before you know it. I just want to check that Granddad's OK. I'm not worried about you going anyway. Oh, well, good. I'm worried that Togo's going to die. Danny will do the best he can. Oh, Duplessis says he, he knows jaunt about it. Will you stop copying that man's language? Jared dug this up. He likes metal coins. You can give it to Granddad. Oh. It's an old brand. And I got this picture for him too. 
Thank you, Olivia. He'll love it. <laughs> Will you ask Danny if me and Duplessis are allowed to find a new family for Togo, please? <sighs> no, I won't. Danny's the vet around here, not you or Duplessis. We've paid a lot of money to come here, and all we've seen so far is a vulture and a dead rat. Well, it's normally teeming with Hensbok and Kudu. We'll head over in that direction. So what's in that direction? Well, we won't know until we get there, will we? So why are you stopping now? I thought we were going in that direction. Excuse me, I asked you a question. Hello? Excuse me, I asked you a question. Hello? Hello, can you hear me? Oh. He's probably just spent too long out in the sun. He was just lying there by the side of the track. Well, it was lucky you found him before the lions did. I'm, I'm fine, just over thirsty. Whereabouts did you find him again? Down by Ruger's Drift. What on earth were you doing down there? Smashed up on hooch, probably, or laying traps. I've been on the road from Joburg. Yeah, well, the road from Joburg doesn't pass through here. Well, I got lost. When was the last time you ate? I don't know. You're not going to feed him. Who the hell are you and what do you want on our land? I'm looking for someone. You are who? Anders Duplessis. Well, you're looking at him. What do you want? My name's Kirk Mtali. I'm your son. I'm, I'm not lying, sir. I'm gonna come to Teddy if you're not you on my land by then. See. One, two. Look, he's too weak to go anywhere. Three, four. Where did you get this? From my mother. Right. Go to town. We'll go and do some homework. Come on. Oh, Mom. Oh Come on, do as you told, please. This doesn't prove anything. Anybody can find an old picture. It's true, I'm your son. I have no son. No, I am your you son. You take that one. Actually, no. Calm down. You. You just get him out of my sight, do you understand? Duplessis, wait. Don't walk away from me. I made a mistake. I'll go. Come on. Let's get you cleaned up. Can't let this elephant out of here, man. I can't work like this. Good, good. Good. Make sure she doesn't cause too much damage, eh? Do you want a hand? Yeah, tie up that side. Waste of bloody time. I told you what that poor animal's problem was. What? What? Is there anything in what he says? No. Who is she? How the hell should I know? Well, you're standing next to her. Yeah. I was in the army. We went to bars, spoke to girls. Hey, look, if he's an imposter, I'll personally drag him off the property. But if he isn't... Name was Jennifer. Jennifer Mtali. She was 22. She was working at the military academy in Stellenbosch, and I was a trainer. And? We had an affair. I was barely, barely six months married. And I was far away from home. And there was a war on, for God's sake. I'm not judging you. I just need to know if he's your son or not. Yeah, well, anything's possible, isn't it? Did you know she was pregnant? No. Actually, she wrote to me after I came home and said she wanted to meet, but I was so scared of my wife finding out. 
I don't back her and told her I never want to see or hear from her again. You know, I'm, I'm so glad my wife is not here to see this. She says, Listen to me, I'm wishing for my wife to be dead. All right, come on. She's still here? Yeah. What am I going to do? I don't know, you'll have to talk to him. But be careful. It could be anyone. It could be my son. So you all live here too? We came out here once on holiday and we really liked it. Mum runs all the business and stuff, and Danny looks after the animals. So you own it with Duplessis? 50 50? I mm, think so. Well, I'll show you to your room. Uh, I can show him. I don't bite. So you say. Rosie, I'll be fine. Tell me about my father. He's brilliant. He was in Max's bar last week and he heard a man talking about a baby elephant that had been orphaned like 100 miles away. He went straight there, called her by himself and brought her here. Now I'm looking after her. Do you want to see her? Not now. I saw a few elephants in the circus last year. They were really cute. They're not cute. They're dangerous. That's what Duplessis says. You like him, hey? He's a bit like another dad. This is your tent? Don't worry. About what? I don't mind sharing him. Duplessis is a bit of a dark horse, isn't he? My clothes? He has to wear something. He's being washed. A very dramatic entrance. I'll give him that. Don't you believe him? I don't know what to believe. Maybe I shouldn't go home. Hey, your dad needs you. We'll be fine. Oh, no, sir. Could you give this to Kurt, please? Nothing good will come of this. Nothing. Have you ever noticed how often no is right? So where were you born? Tell him, boss. When? 26th of July. Now, oh, give me your mother's number. We'll find her when you get back to the house. Can't do that, sir. You can't do that, sir. And why exactly can we not do that, sir, may I ask? My mother's dead. She died last month. Jennifer's dead. Pneumonia. So what do you want from me? Nothing. But then, what are you doing here? I only found out about you the day she died. She, she wanted me to know you are. What is it, boy? She said to tell you she forgave you. My letter to Jennifer. Shh, shh, shh. Come on, C come on. That's it. So, feels a bit hard today, huh? Oh, it was a nightmare. But tomorrow is another day. <laughs> I really admire your optimism. <laughs> Excuse me. Mr. Bennett. Um, it is a bit difficult. Mm. Well? My signet ring's been stolen. What? Yeah, I put it on the table beside my bed, and when I went in at midday, it was gone. Oh, so you're saying your ring is missing? Now, listen. You can call it what you like, young lady. The fact is, it was there, and now it's gone, and I suggest you do something about it. Yes! yes, baby! Woo! Sir, you went to school in Stellenbosch. 
How was it? Not the easiest place for a mixed race boy with no father. <laughs> I suppose not. <laughs> I did all right. You know, gave as good as I got. You play rugby? Outside center. Hey, me too. <laughs> <laughs> Your mother, did she have a good life? I don't suppose it was a dream to be a single mother. What did she used to say about your father? It wasn't a favorite subject. You know, he was a soldier, he got killed in Mozambique. The letter, you know, I was young. I made the best decision I could at the time. Yeah, I'm very happy for you. I had a hell of a shock today, you know. <laughs> but it's not nearly as much of a shock as you've got, eh? <laughs> what are we going to do about it? No, no, you're not my son. We're going to drink beer, boy. <laughs> hey, Max, come on. Men dying of bloody thirst here. I'm on my way. Evan, come inside now, eh? I'm waiting for Duplessis. He said he'll help me out with Togo. She's still not feeding. I think he's a bit busy tonight. Come on. Are you going to behave impeccably while I'm away? I always do. <laughs> I mean, when was the last time you saw me behave peccably? Any sign of Duplessis? He's drinking with the con man. Evan. Hello, Leopard's Den. Oh, hello. Is everything all right? It's the hospital. You didn't know how serious it was. Nobody did. I wish you could have come out here. You'd have been proud of you. I hope so. Oh. Hey, hey, hey! If I were the very guy, let the Lord out of Delivery for Trevenian. Hey, why the long faces? <laughs> I want you to meet my son. Come on, boy. It's going to get a proper drink. What a great day. Come on, Rafa. We better go. Why do people die? Well, you see, Olivia, everything that lives must die. Your grandfather's time came to die. And you should celebrate his life, not just when he's dying. Do animals have their time to die? Yeah, I suppose. Oh, I don't believe that. I think you should fight dying and don't let it happen. How can we celebrate it, Tandy? I don't know. Look, maybe we could plant a sapling and watch it grow into a beautiful tree. Yeah. See, that way you can look at it all your lives and think about your grandfather. Hmm? You like that? Okay, time for bed now. <laughs> I'm going to have nice dreams about Granddad. <laughs> Come on, Evan. Can I stay up and read for a bit, please? Okay, just ten minutes and then straight to bed. Okay? Duplessy will sort you out in the morning, Togo. At least when he can see straight.
Can I help you? Oh, um, I was just looking around. Oh, really? In someone else's desk? What do you do here? I live here. We had a death in the family tonight. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. And we're all feeling hurt and upset. We're not in the mood for any games, is that understood? Good night. Morning, boy. Wonderful day, eh? Uh, not for Togo. I think she's worse. No, oh, you left yours, Denny, to have a look at her. Well, he's busy. Well, so am I. Listen, boy. I'll come and look at her later. You promise? Right, come, come, come. Let's go, let's go. Come, come, come. Rise and shine, rise and shine. <laughs> Here we go. I've had two hours of sleep. That's enough. You're not in the city now. Mm -mm. Come on. I'm going to show you our land. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> you're on the way again. I still want you to search all the huts. Please, Mr. Bennett, we'll find your ring. Right, folks, today's going to be a good day. Today's the day when I get to take my son on a game drive. <laughs> All right, young Evan. <laughs> yeah, I'm what? driving. What? Yeah. I was gonna drive. Yeah, well. Right. Learn from the master. Jumping cook. To proceed. I'm busy now, boy. Later. <laughs> hey, come here, come here, have a look. Ah. See this mark in the sand? Snake passed his way a couple of hours ago. What sort of snake? Uh, puff adder, I'd say. Puff adder? Bites They've just eaten two. Probably a mouse. Well, can you tell? Well, you see how the sand is a bit deeper here? That's where the prey animal is in the snake's belly. It's amazing. So you could learn something from this man? So how do you like it, Cook? I like it a lot. <laughs> come, come, come. Animals to see, places to go. Let's go. Jump in, jump in. Come on, kids. Get on with your schoolwork. How long will Kirk be staying? I don't know. It's got nothing to do with me. He's too blessed. He's long lost son. No, he's not. Oh, hey. Let's try your work. He looks a bit like him. No, he doesn't. Evan. If he is Ducrassi's son, he'll live here with us forever and ever. No, he won't. Olivia. There's nothing you can do about it. Tog. Togo will be fine. You don't know anything about it. Look it down, Ivan. I'm going to see Togo. Just leave Togo to Danny. What's going on? Well, Ivan is more interested in Togo than his schoolwork. Ivan. <sighs> Did Mum go? We yes, asked darling, and I waved until the plane disappeared. I think Togo's dying. But we've talked about this, and there's nothing else I can do for her. Tupacy can introduce her to a new family. He said so. It's a long shot. He said so! Evan, your mum's just lost her dad. duplicy has got his hands full, and I need you to be strong. I'm sorry for raising my voice. I think we're all a bit upset at the moment. I'm going to finish my homework. Thanks. Hey, Kirk, come and look at this. See the grass there where it's broken? Yes. What do you notice? Elephants. Moving in that direction. What do you think? Yeah, I guess so. Good boy. It's in your blood. Go look for the tracks. Come on, gentlemen. 
There are elephants to be found. I need to talk to you. What about? Well, uh... Go on, girl, spit it out. It's Kirk. I saw him in yesterday last night. Yeah, so what? Going through your things, looking at the files at the contract. What exactly is your point? He had no right to be in there. He was just interested in the business. We were up talking about it half the night. Kirk! Use your bloody eyes, man! Keep him out of the sun and make sure he gets plenty of water. Thank you. OK. Next, please. <laughs> Olivia, I've got patience. Gerard is a patient. He's got metal poisoning. I'm sure he hasn't. <laughs> He has, you know. What? You ever heard of the Bushman? No. Well, you know, I used to know a Bushman up there. Could run on top of a fence for kilometers so that he Listen, Rosie. I don't know why you've taken such a dislike to me. Don't flatter yourself. I've come to meet my father. Is that such a bad thing? You've met him. Listen, I won't say I've always seen eye to eye with Duplessis. My father. But he's come to mean a lot to all of us. He might come to mean a lot to me too. I've never seen him happier. And I've been thinking you had better be legit, because if you're not, you're going to break his heart. And we won't let that happen. I think I'm going to like you. Right, home is where the Land Rover is. Well, <laughs> thank you so much for a wonderful day, Mr. Uh, Dupassi. What are you doing? Cold beer? Yeah. Uh, Rosie, get everything cleaned up and ready for tomorrow, eh? Uh -huh. Hey, Kirk, something I want to show you. <laughs> Go on. So, where's Mum now? Oh, probably somewhere over the Sahara on a second gin and tonic. Didn't the pill work? No, I'm afraid it didn't. Do you have another pill? Yeah, I'll try him with one more. If that doesn't work, I'm going to have to give him an enema. What's an enema? <laughs> I'm never going to make it as a ranger. <laughs> Says who? What? I don't know a Thompson Gazelle from a grounds. <laughs> Feel free to help. Oh, no ways. I have been teaching all day. How are the kids? Missing Sarah. My camera's been stolen. What? I left it in the tent and now it's gone. No, hold on. Are you sure? Yeah, of course I'm bloody sure. Now, listen. A signet ring is one thing. A thousand pounds worth of camera is quite another. I am sorry, Mr Bennett. I'm going to get to the bottom of this, I promise you. You ever seen anything like it? Never. <laughs> Always been more of a city guy. Ah, city is no place for a man to spend his life in. <laughs> it's where I'll spend mine. Uh, I've been thinking about that. We made some of the right steps here, but there's still a long way to go. Young man like you could really make a name for himself out there in a place like this. Work for you? Work with me. <laughs> we don't know each other. We're family. We're blood. W what about your partners? Hmm? I don't think they like me. Ah, they'll get used to it. They're good people. Anyway. This land, it's my land. It's been in my family for more than 100 years. I say what goes on here. Look, I appreciate the offer, but I don't know anything about this world. So that's the end of it? Oh, well, just thought I'd ask. Live and work with you. Why not? You tell me why not. He definitely saw him going through the desk. Yes, and I've told Duplessy, but he's not interested. Yeah, well, he's got other things on his mind. I may have checked everywhere else, Dad. Nothing. All right. Well, let's get this out of the way. But surely Noms would have found something when she tidied up this morning. Oh, he had this bag with him. 
nothing. Well, it's hidden it somewhere. Is it in what way? I know how this must look. It looks like you've broken into my son's room and are going through his personal belongings. Some things have gone missing. A ring, a camera. So you came here uninvited to look for them? Without consulting me, your partner? We have a duty to our guests. I'm sorry. You can't just walk away from this. Now isn't the time. I've put up enough shit from you people over the last year. You laugh at me to my face. Nonsense. Stupid, drunken old Afrikaner. Lonely old man who couldn't run his nose so that you came here to chain him out. That's a lie. It was my idea to search the room. I, I apologise. No apology needed. I've got nothing to hide. I'll ask you this once. Did you steal anything here? No. Did you find anything? No. Things are going to change around here, Trevenian. I've let my life slide since my wife died. I know it, but no more. Kirk is coming here to join the business. But just wait a minute. We're your business partners. You can't just make decisions that affect us all. Can and did, my friend. Get used to it or get out. Come on. I'll drive you around the entire fence line. Let you see the full extent of the property. Yeah, the key watering holes. Thanks, Nomza. The Bushman Cave. Hey. That would be good. What did Mum say? That it's cold and she's missing us all. You got any other skills? Thanks, Nomza. I can play rugby and shoot pool. You got a cab. You're a good driver. My guess, so. You can drive the guests around here. Just till you find your feet. I drive the guests. You also break into their rooms and go through their bags. Steady, Duplessy. Only because he's a thief. What did you say, boy? Everything's gone wrong since he came. Togo's dying and you don't even care because of him. Why can't he just go? Let's go and see how Jared is. I have to leave. This is no good for anyone. Uh, you stay right where you are. I'll take care of this. What is it? Treasure? After a fashion. Pearls before swine. Mr. Bennett's signet ring. You're right. You know what this means. You falsely accused my son of theft. I made a mistake. I'm sorry. We need to talk. I want Kirk formally recognized as being part of Leopard's Den. You know nothing about him. Why so quick? He's my son. That's all I need to know. Well, when Sarah gets home, we'll talk about it. There's nothing to talk about. Did you consult me when you gave Rosie a job? Well, no, but it's As I said, nothing to talk about. What about the camera? I bet he stole that. I remember another misunderstood boy who came to this place, bullied, unhappy, looking for a place to mend and flourish. Don't you drag the kids into this. You disappoint me, boy. Hey, Evan. I did a game reserve in Botswana once. Much bigger operation than yours, of course. Anyway, there was a series of thefts from guest bedrooms, and that fragile bond of trust between guest and host was shattered. A year later, they went bust. Good girl. Now, one quick injection will soon have you running around like a two-year-old. You just hold her still for me. Thank you. Danny? Teen's a bit busy just now, Tandy. Sorry, it's Evan. I can't find him anyway. <laughs> we should have that emblazoned on our shirts. Yes, but I'm, I'm worried about him. Well, have you checked the animal pens? He's probably with Togo. I thought you must have moved Togo. She's not there either. Do you got any other ties in Joburg? Dolphins, kids, not that I know of. A oh, funny man. <laughs> Look, I'm a ruthless man. That's how I live my life. Hey, no longer. Evan's gone missing and he's taken Togo, no doubt, to find a family to adopt her. Here. Come on. Let's go. Wait! 
Don't worry, boy. We are now. Help! Hey, hey. Please. Come on. Evan. Evan, look at me. Ooh. You're injured. Yeah, 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 yeah. Concentrate. We got some on the outside. Yes. Ready. Hey. Yes, yes. Come on. Go, go. Hey, good. Gave up after half a mile. He knew when he was beaten. I haven't seen you run so fast since it was your round at the pub. Yeah, well, somebody had to do it. You ran like a girl, the Ellies would have just laughed. <laughs> what about the elephant? Ah, we'll go and look for her later. Who knows, it might be for the best a rude introduction to her adoptive parents. Ah, so we're saying I was right. I knew. <laughs> stop the car. What's the matter? Just stop! What is it, boy? Where did that come from? I stole it. I was going to put it in his tent. Heaven, heaven. Now, why would you do a thing like that? I thought if you believed he was a thief, he'd go away and leave us like we are. I'm sorry. You must apologize to Kirk. I'm sorry. Hey. It takes a brave man to admit to a mistake like that. You're all right, boy. Mr. Bennett! Mr. Bennett! Something for you. What on earth are you doing, Mr. Bennett? Careful. Have you been bothering this spider? It's a Chilean rose tarantula. Its bite can kill. What are you doing? Would you just go and get Mr. Duplessis? Actually, it's a genus Pteranoculus, or a golden brown baboon spider. Pretty harmless, really. Easily made a mistake if you don't know your stuff. <laughs> oh, Evan misguidedly borrowed your camera and he apologises. How about one for the album? <laughs> ah, come on, jump in. We'll do a bit of a quick tour for now. I want to get back, spend some time with the boy. He's had a bit of a shock today, eh? I'm not coming. Why not? I came to find my father and I found him. I think maybe over years I can get to like him. Really like him. I don't understand. Look, this is your life. It's not mine. No, no, no. I want to live in my city. I want to drive my cab. I want, I want to live the life I've been given. We can't pretend that you know me or I know you. Let's take it slowly and see what happens. You visit again? You come to the city? <laughs> yeah, try and keep me away. <laughs> you know what you said to me about never having a family of your own? Yeah. It's not true. Bye for now, then. Yeah. Dad. My boy. Hey. 
<laughs> I told you Togo would come home. Go on! And we'll keep on looking for a new family to adopt her. She'll have a proper foster mom. Oh, she's loads better. Well, you probably terrified the illness out of her. <laughs> You're a bit like Togo, Mr. Duplessy. In what respect? Well, you could both do with a good iron. Oh, oh bloody hot. <laughs> You were all on your own and we sort of adopted you. Hey, I adopted you, right? It's my house, remember? You're more like our adopted grandfather. <laughs> Can I call you granddad? <laughs> no, you bloody can't. Oh, no. I quite like granddad. Grand Don't you hey, start. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Ah, but he's more like grunts. <laughs> to be I haven't seen anything like it in 40 years. It's like someone's pulled the plug. This'll look good on the inspector's report. This is appalling. Can't you see it's dying and the animals that depend on it won't be far behind? No water, no permit. I'm closing you down. You, Mr. Temple! Oh. I am the poor! You will be dying! Don't come All right, all right! You guys lost it. More ways than one. Well, you might like to know that Wild at Heart Series 1 is available to buy on DVD now, both in stores and at itv.com slash shop. Next tonight, things turn nasty as a white teacher's murdered and her black boyfriend's pen covered in her blood. Seems like an easy case, but does DCI Connor jump to the wrong conclusions for the wrong reasons? Trial and Retribution is next.